I mean, it's hard. It's hard to pick just one. You know, um, I talk about like my favorite memories. You know, Cal's last game was probably something that always just really sticks out. More of just you know, I was I watched the twenty one thirty one on TV. I actually quit my job to watch that game, and uh, it just had that feel. You know, just the passion of the fans, and uh, you know, it was it was kind of a sad night in a way because you know you're you're losing a legend here, but. Uh, it was also just showed how how appreciative the fans were here, and that's what you know we've been talking about all day. The fans always just you know made us feel welcome. You know whether we're playing good or bad, um, whether we're at a grocery store, they always wanted to talk, and they were always really positive. And that was a uh, that was a really uh, f- a fond memory I have. Yeah. Yeah, many memories here. Definitely my best year in baseball were here with the Orioles. And my first win, well, the opening days, I got three here. But uh, since my very first game here as an Oriole, uh, pitching against the New York Yankees, coming off uh, the bullpen, uh, uh, Scott Erickson started a game. But seeing all the environment, all the atmosphere on the uh, celebration of the opening day with the orange carpet and everything, just it was a, a good memories for sure. Uh, Again, my, my first win, that was something special, my first win in, in the big leagues. And some other uh, uh, things I got personal with my, my family, my first kid that was born in Fort Lauderdale, but your first game here is a, uh, a family day, wearing the, the uniform, that was pretty very special until, until the end. And one thing that um, I remember about you guys, just remember last year here, that was terrible, right? 18 losses. But uh, I remember when I was in Washington, I had terrible, uh, well, another terrible game. So I asked Bill, Bill, did I need to really talk to the media? He was like, you have to, man. I know it's tough, but. So I remember talking to you guys, and fast forward at the end of the season, uh, that was uh, meaning a lot for you guys. Like some of you come to me and thank me for being available every time I pitch, because I know when you pitch good, you know, you want to be interviewed. But when you pitch bad, sometimes you want to boy media, and that was not the case. So I appreciate you guys, uh, your your time with me, and, you know, I think that means a lot. I, media, I appreciate what I, my effort to, to talk to you after the game. I, I don't really look at it like that at all. You know, I mean, the friendships I made over the years here, you know, teammates, non-teammates, I got to play baseball for a living. You know what I mean? Like, I got to go to the park every day and hit a ball. I mean, I had I had fun, you know, and win or lose, like, we had fun, you know, in the clubhouse. We had fun on the field. You know, we went out there and we played played as hard as we could. Obviously, we came up short. You know, we, we played in a tough division, tough times, you know, um, with who we were playing, but I never really think of it like that. You know, I just kind of have positive thoughts. Um, you know, a lot of that is luck. You know, who, who you're playing with. I got a couple of friends, they got a couple of rings, and just end of their career, you know, they're not even playing. They get a couple of World Series rings. We can only, we can't really control that. You know, we, we could just control what we did on the field, and, uh, you know, we did the best we could. Yeah, it doesn't feel that way now that we lock up the numbers. And yeah, there was uh, losing records every time. But again, for me, that was my best years in baseball. You know, my good times, uh, my personal numbers were uh, good good enough to feel pretty satisfied for it, uh, the effort that I put on the field. And yeah, on top of that, I got a chance to, to know guys like Scott Erickson, uh, Jay, you know, I got a chance to meet Cal Ripken. Those are the good memories. And now, like, uh, with everything going on with documentaries and guys that uh, I play against, like Derek Jeter, uh, all those lineups with the Yankees, I just feel pretty blessed uh, on being part of the Orioles at that time in baseball. I think the chance that uh, the Orioles give me to face those kind of lineups, that most of those guys right now are either in the Hall of Fame or definitely well remember in the memory of the baseball fans, I think that making making it special. 
And those are a great moments. And believe me, that doesn't make it any hard to come back. I wish I can be back here more often because this is my first time since uh, I left the Orioles and back in 2006. Um, and believe me, this is this is a moment is special for me. Well, just I think that was the first game I went back to as a fan too, since I played, um, which had been a long time. So it was the atmosphere was so electric in the stands, and um, th that was a good team, by the way. Uh, you know, I I think that was the year. Was it the Royals that beat them that year, or was it the next year? The next year, okay. Yeah, they uh, they had a really good team, and uh, you could just see the passion of the fans. You know, and this is what. I kind of always thought, like, man, if we won, like, it would be like this every night. And it really makes it a lot more fun to play when you are winning, you know, whether it's, you know, you've won 10 in a row or, you know, eight in a row, and all of a sudden the fans start to get the buzz around, around the city. So um, I think we're starting to see it again now. You know, I, I still follow a little bit from, from back in Southern California. Actually, my son, my son reminds me of games like, Dad, they're playing really well. And I'm like, come on now. They, they, you know, and they're like, no. And then – Sure enough, you know, we got this young talent that's starting to, you know, come together. But uh, it's going to happen again here. You know, it's a, just a matter of time. But uh, and when it does, you know, um, I think the city will, will embrace it and uh, these stands will be filled again permanently.